All right, folks, welcome to another video. Today we're going to cover the Bethco Greenwright 258 uh, PTO powered overseeder. We're fixing to go plant some Tifton 9 Bahia. And I've already got it calibrated, but we're going to check the calibration again just to double check and be sure. Well, uh, my goal is to put between 20 and 30 pounds of seed per acre down with the Bahia. So we're going to uh, measure out some seed make sure we got the right amount i've had this befco for maybe five years now i uh, used it quite a bit made some improvements over over the years uh one being uh homemade gauge wheels here i built these myself with some axle stubs and a wheel kit and uh considerably cheaper than the optional kit from the manufacturer uh, other improvements i've made include this uh pivoting top link arm right here uh, the the one from the factory is fixed and I was having all sorts of problems with my calibration rate uh, and having way too much seed left over after I'd plant say an acre and uh, come to find out what was happening was the back end was picking up off the ground with the uh, you know varying terrain heights and rolling you know areas uh, of the of the sod in relation to the tractor and and the planter so uh the back end would actually lift off the ground which would stop seeding and then i'd be completely out of out of whack with my numbers and a lot of areas that didn't get any seed so i said what uh what's causing that and it turns out it's you know this fixed position up here in relation to the tractor well it doesn't allow for changing terrain so just like my Land Pride mower that has a pivoting top link, I decided I'd make a pivoting top link uh, for this. That way, uh, regards to what the tractor's doing, the top link will adjust and give with some some of the ground, and it'll keep that back end on on the deck. <clears throat> and actually works out pretty good. Put some spacers in there, and uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty impressed with the way that works. Uh, but basically, for calibration, if you've never calibrated a a cedar like this what we're going to do here is uh oh and there's there's a there's a nut that i've welded on to the drive gear here so i can actually count my revolutions it makes it a whole lot easier because it used to be you'd have to turn this kelter packer by hand and yeah, that's a lot tougher than you'd think because that's that's a pretty stiff wheel right there so I weld this nut on the end now i can just put a socket on there and crank it around and count my number of revolutions so what we're going to do is we're going to collect the seed from 40 rotations. The manual says at least 20. We're going to give it 40 because that's going to give us a better representative uh, weight of seed per turn. We're going to collect all the seed. We're going to weigh it. Then we're going to divide that weight by 40 because that's how many 40 or that's how many turns we're going to we're going to crank out here. And then that number is going to give us the amount of seed that was released per per turn of the Celtic Packer. And then we're going to take that number and we're going to multiply it by 3137 and that's going to give us the amount of seed in ounces because we're going to do this by ounces. The amount of seed by ounces per acre. And we're going to divide that by 16 to get our pounds per acre. And hopefully we'll be somewhere between 20 and 30 it's it's really hard to get a good calibration with this size seed because it's such a such a small seed you can see it's just little pellets in there in relation to you know your hand that's bahia seed right there uh, a few days ago when i calibrated it we were at about i think 26 pounds per acre I'm gonna verify that and see how, see how it comes out. I have to fix this sheet here because I just knocked some dirt down on it. I'm sure there's an easier way to uh, collect this seed. I haven't found it yet. I keep looking for it. About a six foot long uh, shallow Tupperware or uh, Rubbermaid storage container that would sit under here and catch all this but I haven't found it yet 
All right, let's crank out 40 turns. see there the seed that we just dropped out now I'm gonna gather this up I'm gonna go put it on the scale I'm gonna weigh it if uh, I'm still in my range that I'm happy with I'm gonna go with that if not I'm gonna make the adjustments right here it slides these little gears back and forth that goes into the seed meters here and that's what determines what drops out but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and count the numbers and see how it turns out uh, next video, we'll be out there on the field running some grass seed in. Stay tuned.